Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about improving vehicle efficiency using springs. I'm looking at torque converter dampers. A torque converter allows us to transfer power from an engine through the gearbox and to the rest of the vehicle. It transfers the maximum amount of power is at its most efficient when the two halves are locked together. In this locked efficient position, however, it also transfers the maximum amount of vibration. And since an engine is essentially a series of mini explosions, I'm sure you can understand that that has the potential to be quite a lot and make for quite an uncomfortable ride. So our torque converters are fitted with these ingenious bits of kit called dampers. Now these dampers are made out of a series of plates and springs. And it's actually the movement of these plates and how the springs interact with their surroundings that reduces that vibration. The better a damper is at reducing vibration, the more time we can spend with our torque converter locked up, making our vehicle more efficient. And a more efficient vehicle uses less fuel. This is better for the environment and a bit better for your wallet as well. The thing is, is that we don't actually know exactly how these things work. And that's what I'm trying to find out. By using a combination of rig testing, so running the gearbox between two big electric motors, and by building a series of computer simulations, I'm helping to understand a little bit more about how these dampers work and how the movement of these plates and the coils being forced into their surroundings and the friction between the coils, the housing and the oil reduces that vibration. Because if we can understand a little bit more about how they work, we'll know what we need to change in order to improve their performance. And better damper performance will lead to better vehicle efficiency, which means it'll be better for the environment. So that's the what and the how. Why? Why are we even doing this? Well, the whole industry is having a real big push to being more environmentally friendly, as it should be. One way of doing this is going to be through the use of alternative fuel sources, such as hydrogen or electricity. The thing is that currently alternative fuel sources are either not accessible to or do not meet the needs of the majority of consumers. So the industry is also looking at something called engine downsizing. Now this is brilliant. This is about getting the power of a big engine, but from a much smaller engine with that smaller engine's efficiency. This is done using turbo or supercharging, sometimes even both. Now these powerful little engines produce a ton of vibration. So we're going to need an improved damper design that can cope with that. So after all, there's no point making a more environmentally friendly vehicle if it's so uncomfortable, none of you want to buy it. So that's what I'm doing. By understanding a little bit more about how these dampers move and work, I'm helping to improve vehicle efficiency. And that's all being done by using some springs.